Hi everybody, welcome back to Cat's Book Knock. Today is December 3rd, and this is Sunday, so this is a weekly wrap-up video. Yay! Wrap up. Um, this week I only got through four books. I am currently doing two, and I got a lot of new books. Um, we went to the bookstore yesterday, and I picked up three. This is one of those, because I have the middle book, which is literally, like, right there with the green and silver. And... That actually was supposed to be the book of the month. I don't like starting series in the middle, so I picked a different book. But picked up book one and book three. And picked up Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. So new books. We're going to start with new books this week. Um, I have read this before. I loved it. I needed it to help me complete the set. I have not read the third book yet. That is on my to-be-read list this month soon um real quick overdrive new books new books we've got um i did not get that book crap all right so i got the sun is also a star by nicola yoon who wrote everything everything it's a eight hour listen and it was available and it's supposed to be really good so i picked it up this week um also got the audio version of something borrowed I've read this before. It's it's pretty good. It's a lot of the stuff on my overdrive for the last couple weeks have been really heavy, so I wanted something light and contemporary to help kind of break up the monotony. Um, also got the girl before finally came through. Um, I own this. I wanted to listen to it because it's supposed to be really good audiobook, but we'll see. Um, Iron Kissed literally just came in today, so. This is going to be, this is like a nine hour book on audiobook. Probably get through this this week, no problem. And that's all the new Overdrive stuff, because I'm still, I don't know if I told you guys I got the Zookeeper's Wife last week, so that may or may not be new. I have not looked at the list from last week, so bear with me. Um, new library books. T Touchstone by Melanie Dawn. I picked this up because I saw the fifth one that just came out recently it was on the new bookshelf if you guys hear noise in the background that's i've got the door closed to kind of help minimize it but they're in there having a long conversation and i'm just trying to get through this today um but this is supposed to be really good i've got this on one of my readathons and my december to be read list um i also picked up vicious by v.e schwab and then told you guys that I got the audiobook for this, but I actually just went ahead and picked up the physical copy. As you can see, this is going to be a monster. Um, they Both Die in the End by Adam Silvera. I read his History is All You Left Me book, and I wanted to read this, and my hold came through on this one. And then a friend of mine recommended A Cup of Water Under My Bed by Daisy Hernandez. Um, it's supposed to be really, really good. So it, it's a memoir about Daisy's experience growing up as a Cuban Colombian in New York. So um, you don't get a lot. I don't read a lot of like diverse memoirs. So it should be interesting. And then books that came through from other libraries this week. We've got Wicked and the Divine. Four and five. Six is at the library, and I'm going to go pick that up as soon as it opens today. And then Box Office Poison came through, too, by Alex Robinson. Um, this I need to read because this is supposed to come up on one of my readathons that I'm doing. So that's on the new stuff this week. Um, I'm currently reading Waking Gods by Sylvan Nouvelle. I got through Sleeping Giants this week. I actually read that book in a day. I liked, the, the story was really good. I got involved in the story. The case files, the way he did it, was like I'm sitting at my desk reading a case file and reading notes that have come through on the case file that I don't know who's taking the notes. And it never gets stated who it is and why he's important. You just know that it's a he because that pronoun does get used for that particular person somewhere in the book. 
This one, I'm 20 some odd pages into it. I'm not feeling it yet. Sleeping Giants, just give it to me, give it to me. I gotta find out what's going on. I need to know, I need to know. This one, not so much. A couple other people said the same thing, and people that really liked and loved Sleeping Giants, they gave it five stars. This one, they said, did not live up to the expectations, so I'm kind of seeing that already. I'm still going to read it, because it's, it's good, but yeah. And then I'm also listening to Fall of Giants by Ken Follett. It's book one in the Centuries trilogy. Holy cow. So, I like listening to things that happened in World War One and between World War One and World War Two, because it was very, it, it's a very interesting time period that doesn't often get talked about unless you were talking about Hitler. And Hitler was an egomaniac, megalomaniac, however you want to put it, and whatever category you feel the need to put him in. But the way he wrote Pillars of the Earth and the viewpoint of not only Pillars of the Earth, but with the Diviners trilogy series right now. The viewpoint, the, the feelings between all the characters and how everybody gets wrapped into one another. And it's, it's how each person sees different aspects of the same thing. It's very good. It's, Fall of Giants has been very fantastic. And... As much as I would love to pick up the second book now, I know that I'm not going to get through the first one until later on in the week. And I actually returned a book because I knew I wasn't going to get through this book and through that one before the end of next week. So, but that's what I'm currently listening to right now. Um, books I read this week... I didn't get through Fall of Giants because I was focused on Bloodbound by Mercy Tom by Patricia Briggs. It's a Mercy Thompson series book. It's book two in the set. Um, this the first one focused on werewolves. This one focuses on vampires and kind of the crazy things that Mercy has to do and kind of shows some of a little bit more of the world building for the Mercy Thompson series. So, really like that one. I finished Before the Devil Breaks You, which is another reason I didn't get through a whole lot more audiobook cuz I was cuz I was reading that book. Um Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bright is the third book in the Diviners series. There is going to be a fourth one. This one just came out this year. Actually, I want to say in like October. Um really good book. Probably one of the best books I've read, I read this week. Um, although Sleeping Giants and Before the Devil Breaks You was kind of in the same. It was a five star regardless of how everything else went. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great, great book. And then Paper Girls Volume 3 I finished yesterday morning. And then Sleeping Giants I finished Friday. Um... And that, that's what I got through this week as far as reading went. I returned two books. First one was Songs of Willow Frost by Jamie Ford. I couldn't renew it anymore and I hadn't read it since I borrowed it. So I just returned it. And I will probably end up picking that up next year. Because my reading stack just keeps growing and growing and growing. I'm waiting for it to actually get up to the point where I can't stack anything. And then we'll see what, what happens with that. Um, I also returned World Without End by Ken Follett. It's the second book in the Pillars of the Earth series. I think it's a trilogy. He has a lot of trilogies. And they didn't have it at the bookstore yesterday when we went. So I didn't pick that up. And I kind of wanted to. But at the same time I didn't. Because it's just another really thick volume that I don't want to put on my shelves. Because I'm not going to get to it anytime soon. So, but the audiobook, my loan was only for another week, and I want to get through Iron Kiss, Fall of Giants, and a few other of the smaller books before I get into something super, super thick again. Um, and I say that, but I just bar I just put Atlas Shrugged on hold, 
So if that's not a thick, dense book, I don't know what is. Because um, Atlas Shrugged is like right there. I've tried to get through it. The print in that book is super, super small. Um, it is a really good book, though. And I, when they did the movie, I could definitely see the parallels between the years that Atlas Shrugged was originally written towards and how they compared it to what we were going through when the movie came out. There actually is a two- I think it's a two-part set, but the movie was was pretty good, and it was it did really really well. There were some parts in the book that it weren't in the first part. I've gotten through a good majority of the book, but I haven't finished it, so we'll see. Um, enough rambling. It's our anniversary today is our one-year wedding anniversary, so we're gonna go cut cake. So. I will see you guys on Thursday this week and hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and talk to you soon.